Well, it's Wednesday. I'm getting ready to get started on this clearing job here. Customer bought this property, bought this lot right next to his place. His place is right there. We're gonna take all these trees out, grub all this nonsense out of here. This is where I really need a 200. A 200, this wouldn't be nothing. I'm gonna have to work at little 130 a little bit on this job. Growing pains, growing pains. But we're basically going right in here. This is the property line. We're gonna clear all these trees on this side, down over the bank. And I'm gonna take all this dirt that's going down and I'm taking it, putting it over on the far side of this guy's house. We'll make him a bigger area up here, wider area. Just kind of, this is all, this is another lot, but just to kind of give you an idea on what we're doing. But I'll walk down here the road and get us another view of it. All right, there's the house, of course. Uh, this is the front of it. Uh, about right there, about right in that general area right there, goes straight up the hill, that's the property line. So, from right here back, that's all gonna be, that's all gonna be uh, took out, burnt, and disposed of. And then eventually, where this level is here, we gotta leave a hump. So it'll come up, then go up, and back down, we're gonna cut top of this hill off we'll grab all that dirt and we're gonna put it in behind the house we'll walk up there and I'll show you that all right so here's the back side we'll take some of this stuff out too and we're basically gonna we'll go down below here probably about right in here somewhere and I'm gonna cut a cut a good keyway and we're gonna take all this dirt I'm gonna bring it down here and I'm gonna start building this, building this edge up right here. Make this yard a little bit wider. We gotta get rid of the dirt. So they'll have a nice, I think they're gonna put a pool over in this general area somewhere. They're gonna put a pool. So, we got planned up for the day, this week and most of next week. This week and all of next week, I'd say. Stay tuned. Absolutely have to have it start now, so I'll just wait. I 
case of nail. You know, you don't usually use the dozer a whole bunch when you're clearing like this, but usually it's good. If you already got it here, it's awesome because they can just jump on it real quick, knock you in a good road to get in and out of these hollers or up down these hills. But I don't have it here, so we'll make do without it. Kind of mix it in there a little bit, give us a little bit. I got some good dry stuff, ash. Most dead ash trees, they got them in the, in the very bottom there. So they should be adding a little bit of fuel to the fire. Then I'm mixing in some small stuff there. Um, you still want to put some bigger stuff on top. And then what that does, that kind of weights it down. See, one of the problems is, is that big old pine log, that pine log right there is going to hold that fire up. Hopefully, it should, it should burn in two. It should burn in two pretty easy. And then that'll let the fire, I know y'all can't see my hands. I'm actually talking with my hands. That'll let that fire just keep falling down, get hotter and hotter and hotter. They do pretty good. They, they learn it. One thing that Dustin was really good at whenever he was swamping, Dustin, he would cut all the way across so that you wouldn't have any stickers. But it all comes with time. Y'all just kind of sit tight there and we'll get you some more footage here after a while. up all the little stuff there. I gotta take them two stumps there out. Get rid of them and getting everything on the far. Talk to dad on the phone. So he made it a lot better than me. Got to talk to my dad. So, making progress. Well, this is after about two days, three days of clearing. Trees that was on that bank around the edge here. Got a couple roads down in there. I miss having my dozer. Far we got her died down pretty good now. It's all around around the front there. I gotta go to my second job soon. <sighs> Putting all the tools up. I was on the phone with Dad a few minutes ago. He was feeling pretty good. <clears throat> I just raked everything down. Cutting all this off. We didn't quite get everything burnt like I wanted to, but we still gotta take him bigger trees down too. But we did get all the way around the bottom and the front of the house. I got all of it done. It worked pretty good. We still got Still got quite a bit of brush, but <clears throat> it ain't nowhere near. Me quitting at five o'clock to go to the other job makes it kind of makes it kind of rough sometimes. But uh, I gotta take these two and all these. We'll try to leave that pretty white oak. Because the cut, the cut is going to be about right in here. So that down there won't even be messed with. I might add a little bit of feel in there just to kind of widen this flat out. And we'll take all this and shove it down and around that way. It's going to be a pretty decent push. That's a pretty... That's a pretty long push. Kind of thinking I can take a hoe and 
dig a bunch of it down and throw it in behind me and just take the dozer and just push it. I got you. We're gonna roll it all into the roller. I'll probably go ahead and I'll probably go ahead and post this video together and I got some starting and ending. I'll probably just go ahead and post it tonight. And then I'll just make another videos as we're finishing up a little bit of the clearing and stuff. So But today's Friday. Still we'll work tomorrow mowing some, get finished up. We're in good shape. You guys have a great day. And dad is feeling a lot better and maybe get to come back home and stay tomorrow. He got to come home for a couple hours and they called him back, so keep uh keep doing what we're doing you guys have a fun day